Hello, I have my tribe. It is Pink Bella. Happy New Day. And I hope everybody is well. This is going to be um, a reading and a download for the new moon in Sagittarius for Jupiter going direct, for us wrapping up the eclipse season and preparing for a really, really powerful uh, final month in December. So welcome back all star seeds, lightworkers, and past 144,000. And for those of you who are new, welcome, thank you. And for those of you that have been um, with me for ages, I'm so, so grateful for you. So who am I? My name is Pink Bella, also known as Tracy. I am a 12 to 22nd dimensional quantum Akashic reader and healer. And I started off like many of you, finding out I was a star seed um, and then following that path. So the core of how I share my gifts with all of you is I offer Akashic readings and clearings. The clearings are for, we came in to embody and remember many things. We're going through a remembering process. So my role is to help all of you remember your soul missions, why you're here. But we also came into a family lineage, a bloodline. So we're clearing out those lineages. We also have past life energies that we're healing and clearing, the fall of Atlantis, Lemuria, um, imprints from our families, uh, the J seals, I'll talk a little bit about that. And then we also have been um, wanting to clear as much of that as we can in this lifetime so that we have more options as we're raising our frequency and um, preparing new earth. So we're embodying new earth, we're preparing for new earth and we're going through so many upgrades right now. So, so I'm going to talk a little bit at first about the new moon and Jupiter going direct because it is today. Happy new moon blessings, everyone. It, the new moon is in Sagittarius. Um, I wrote down it's one degree, 38 seconds. So that adds up to a 12, a frequency of 12, which is connected to our 12 chakras. I do work with the higher chakra systems as well. I do offer um, sessions and readings for that as well. But basically, many of you are at the seven chakra moving into the 12 chakra spectrum okay um and then we have oh sorry let me just see oh i wrote down the time too so i just am guided to sort of go check in on the number frequencies so i think i'm recording this for around 4 p.m pst a little bit after that so the new moon is already in progress it started at 5 57 p.m est which added up to an eight frequency okay Jupiter is also going direct. It's going direct in Pisces. It's one of the largest planetary bodies, if not the largest in our uh, solar system. It is connected to expansion, success, and abundance. And it's going to be in the sign of um, Pisces until almost the solstice. And then it's going to be moving into, I believe, Aries. I will confirm that later as well. Okay. We also have many planets in Sagittarius right now. Sagittarius is a fire sign. So happy birthday, all Sagittarians. We are actually wrapping up a very, very intense Scorpio season. And Scorpio was all about uh, the eclipse season, endings, new beginnings, clearing our path to make way for, um, for our new beginnings, our new timeline. And now Sagittarius is this fire, fire energy to really reset us we're very, very clear now, or many things have been removed out of our reality that we're all at a, a final zero reset, new beginning for the rest of the year. We're preparing for uh, the 1212 portal. Um, we have a lots of activity and action for December as well. Okay. So before I forget, if any of you would like to work with me personally, check the description box below. I have many offers on right now. And there's an extra offer for Black Friday. So I call it Pink Friday. There's a coupon code. You can also check that out. It's on my website. It's on the community tab. I'll reshare it again today. It's on until uh, Friday. You can just add that on checkout and receive another um, extra bonus on all those specials already. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's talk about the new moon in Sagittarius. So um, I'm reading this from Mystical Moon Tarot. She did this amazing write-up. Uh, it's a time to escape the grip of stagnation and press the reset button, a chance to rebirth your life and make space for expansion. Of course, Jupiter is uh, the main planet connected to Sagittarius. So we're getting that full-on reset and move forward. The signs that's most affecting Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. 
It says the new moon in Sagittarius is an opportunity to step away from the shackles, the matrix that bind you as, and ask yourself, what's the best, what's the best case? What happens? What, um, this is a question I often give to many of you who are moving forward on your path. If you could do anything and the universe supported you on all levels, what would you do? Okay. So that's what it is. We're to look at like, everything's going to work out. What's going to happen is, um, the universe is supporting us. What, what direction would we like to choose at this time? This is a great time to break away from circular patterns that have maybe ancestral imprints that maybe have been following us around for years, okay? Uh, the energy is about searching for authenticity, reminds us sometimes our inner truths need to rewrite our life's narratives. This energy will awaken the divinity of your soul with a new sense of vitality and passion. A new chapter that encourages you to reflect on the new roots you can nourish, a time to grow your dreams. Jupiter provides this cosmic boost as well to the bring in unlocking abundance, expansion, and luck. And on that note, the, um, the amethyst violet flame is the flame for the rest of this month. I'm not sure what December is going to be yet, but um, that also includes crystalline frequencies. So I work with color rays, sacred geometry, crystalline frequencies during your sessions, even the video sessions. I do offer distance sessions as well. And that allows me to work with your higher self and to clear uh, the Akashic records uh, more easily and to bring in higher frequencies for you. So this month as a bonus, I'm also offering either an immune boost or an abundance boost. So um, all bookings till the end of the month will receive that, whether you're, you're available this month or into December. Okay. All right. Um, the crystals, some of the crystals that came forward are Labrador light, lapis lazuli, obsidian, peridot, clear quartz, fantastic smoke, smoky quartz, and uh, sodalite and topaz. Those are just a few. M basically the seven chakras are getting a recalibration right now. And for the tarot card, it's the temperance card number 14. Let me just bring this up a little closer for the affirmation. Just see here. Hold on. Okay. I am the pathfinder on the road to unexplained adventures and ever expansion horizons. I walk in my truth, trust myself, transcend my wildest dreams and embrace growth. So I posted that. I posted that today as well. So I just wanted to read that all to you. Okay. All right. Let's, let's move out of here. And I want to also cover a couple other things. So I'm just going to go to my, I'm just going to go to DuckDuckGo. Okay. So, so I'm going to do a reading as well for all of us, as well for any other messages that are coming in. Huge, huge updates. Um, we're going through such an expansion. There was literally a fiery meter, meter, meteorite a uh, fiery um, meteorite that went over Canada and the U.S. on the weekend. Uh, we're also wrapping up a Pleiadian portal and the, um, I think I'm pronouncing this right, Leonard meteor shower. So that's a very, very powerful time right now to set intentions, releasing what no longer serves us. That's what new moons are all about. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the expansion that I've been going through that I can share with you all and then I'll be bringing into uh, sessions moving forward. So... There were a couple of questions that came forward before I get into that, and I want to talk about that. So somebody um, asked a question about the J-Seals removal. So I'm offering a couple of distance healing sessions right now. They're all amazing. So one of them is a 22 chakra distance healing session. One of them is a 22 meridian um, session, which encompasses a whole bunch of other things. You can check that out on my website. But there's two life-changing uh, distance sessions right now. One of them is the nanotech clearing and healing, which is connected to a lot of the EMF uh, toxins that many of us are experiencing from being on our devices and from the upgrade of the systems on the planet. But the other one is um, the quantum seals, including the seven J seals removal session. Okay. So uh, somebody messaged me and of course I did that video months ago. So there is a video it's in the description box as well. It's on my channel of the main one where I went over everything. Okay. So I didn't, some of the information I looked up on the internet, because people have been doing these sessions for years, it's just that we, many of us had to keep going back to get them removed. And the reason being is because those seals were connected to our internal quantum field and that internal quantum field kept getting reattached to um, the grids and around the planet. But there's enough of us now, the grids have been upgraded. That's also what I, you know, in the sessions, I make sure that you're connected to the latest grid systems. 
and um, we're able to release them. But those imprints came from our ancestors, from the bloodlines, okay? So one of the implants is called the Metatronic implants. I call it the Meta implant. Not to confuse with Archangel Metatron. So Archangel Metatron is a higher frequency being. Some of us look at angelics as, um, as, as uh, high vibrational guides and starseeds. So we're all connected. The beings that I work with are only the highest beings. I work with source universal energy and Archangel Metatron is, is one of them, okay? But the, meta, the Metatronic implants are not connected to Archangel Metatron. That's why I started calling it the Meta implant. The Meta implant, I'll just, I'll just let you, um, I'll read this for you again. They are located throughout all of the auric fields, Tim. Um, and we've all been waiting a long time for the release of these, this particular implant as well. Um, Metatronic implants are mostly within the energy bodies and are connected to a larger grid of implants that have been around the earth for a long time. They were placed there even before the J seals and have a different influence. The name Metatronic is, in reality is not the name for these implants as they are at a crystal frequency and prevent many energy bodies from fully reconnecting as well as integrating with the physical body. And it, it, she, this person literally wrote, this is not to be confused with Archangel Metatron. So this has been many of the seals and the implants part of that session is to release you from the old grid system. So your intuitive abilities can ramp up. Okay. Uh, what I noticed personally, what many have noticed personally with these sessions is that they literally will uh, release a lot of the controls that we've had um, on us, including fear. We easily can be triggered. I'm just going to turn this off. We easily can be triggered. Uh, into fear based on the implants. So you can go check out my website. There's a, there is a, um, a diagram, uh, a couple of places on my website. You can check that out as well. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So what do I want to talk about? I'm just going to have a little sip here. Mm. So many upgrades going on. Um, I've been, that's why you have an all see me for about a week. I have been literally being guided to go within uh, recalibrating my physical body with all of the upgrades for me personally, my plasma light body has been ramping up to a different frequency. That's been allowing more DNA strands to be upgraded, more chakras, more meridians. So for some of you, you're moving from the seven chakra system to the 12 chakra system, which it means you're working towards activating your 12 strands of DNA. Okay. I was just recently told that I'm working on activating my 24 strands of DNA. I've also been working with the frequencies of the plasma light codes. So when I've been sun gazing, the first thing that came to me was the emerald sun. And I will share more about this moving forward as well. So the emerald sun what they gave me was that my emerald plasma body was being filled up. So I kind of look at my quantum field as a container and it's being filled up with the emerald plasma. There's also gold plasma frequencies that are very strong right now, as well as diamond and rainbow. Okay. So if that interests you and you do book a session, you can just ask me whether or not that's being activated for you at this time. Okay. I'm sure that there's going to literally be a plasma light body session, but for now, we'll just bring in the aspects that your higher self asked me to do. Uh, so also many of you might be going from the 12 chakra system to the 13th. You might be going all the way up to the 22nd chakra system as well. And what else did they want me to share about that? And with that, that's preparing us more for um, the more intense, solar flares, which are bringing in these activations. And that's preparing us to remember more, to know more, to embody more, to expand more, to remember more of our abilities and to be able to assist um, our journey and the collective's journey as well. So we're holding the frequency as a group, okay? Um, yeah, so that specifically was something that they wanted me to share. And so I've been working with my plasma light body. How do you know if your plasma light body is coming online? get really cold, really, really cold. So for me, when we get really hot, uh, we're burning off old programs. And when we get super cold, our plasma body's being activated. So we literally have our crystal, which is our crystalline body, okay? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. All right. And again, if any of you would like to book a session or reading, or I've got a, a package for all of you who are Blu-rays or working on your mission, uh, check out the offer on right now as well. All right, let's get into the reading. I just wanted to bring in the best messages for us for this awesome, fiery new moon 
I'm going to pull a couple of these sacred geometry cards today. Just asking for the best messages for the new moon in Sag, the fire energy in Jupiter going direct. Beautiful. Okay, bottom of the deck is number 22, Divine Masculine. So all of you out there who are Divine Masculines, or, you know, you are healing and clearing so much. You really are. We, we all came in to clear different things as feminines and masculines. And you as masculines are clearing out um, a lot of old programming in the lower chakras. Okay. So just know, I'm just asking the energies to bring in the best messages. Yeah. Um, so just know that you are. Okay. And whenever you watch this as well, I'm going to ask that the amethyst violet flame be invoked around all of us that the highest messages come in and the amethyst violet flame brings that frequency of amethyst to um, activate everything at a higher frequency and, and clear everything. Um, clear everything. It's a little bit more powerful than the, uh, the violet flame. Okay. All right. Let's read the bottom of the bottom part. So number 22 to my masculine. So we've been in a Palladian portal. I work with all many, many councils of light. The Palladians were the first um, star seed council that I started to work with. And, um, and I sort of connect the divine feminine energy a little bit more with the Pleiadian system, but we all have those aspects. So many of us work with both. Okay. But for the divine masculine, I really feel you're connected to the serious star system. Okay. So let's just read the message. Number 22. Yesterday was the 22nd, a very powerful day. The sun went into Sagittarius. It was a very, and it's literally, we've been activating these two to two codes since February this year. So now we're preparing, um, you know, we've had another activation and we're preparing again for the 21st, 22nd of December as well for the solstice. Okay. So the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong, focused and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. And that's where we're all at. We're all just ready. We're so ready for this positive, this positive fiery energy to bring our passion back. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Uh, the other cards that that's why they got to me. They wanted me to bring in some different number frequencies as well. So the first one that came in is number 35 perception and 35 adds up to an eight. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity and to help us move beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it. So I feel like that's part of our expansion right now as we're totally seeing the veils removed and we're really, that's our truth frequency. That's the Blu-ray frequency is like knowing the truth, understanding the truth. The narrative continues on out in the third dimension and we have to stay neutral in the, in the middle. If things come up and trigger us, we have to find ways to heal and clear it, okay? Because you, you are all important. We all are going to start unifying more um, to work as a team. And that's part of my role is to help you as well. So on that note, I do, um, I do have a private telegram group that you can join. I also have a team like Canada group for all star seeds, not just Canadians, to help unify us more. And we're doing, uh, we're working with Team Light Cypress. And of course, we own, um, who started all of Team Light Thinking Room. And so you can check that out. That's a Facebook group. And I feel like there's going to be more to it. Please also check out the recent podcast that Andriana and I just did as well. Okay, so the next message is number 23, dynamic, which adds up to a five and change. So the frequency of the dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origins and frequencies. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new with ease, grace, and joy. So I feel like many of you are ready to know more of your starseed origins, and this is actually activating that within you. And, and we are galactic hybrids. So we have to understand that those aspects are here to help us, to help us heal um, and to help us remember our abilities from being off planet and in these other realities. But they're also were to use those aspects to help bring um, gifts and um, bring in that new frequency for earth. Okay. Number 33 miracle. I love that. Okay. So the frequency of miracle supports our belief in ourselves as part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. So we're going to activate and ask for miracle portals to open up for everyone. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So let's see what other messages want to come in. So this is, I, oh, this is what I've been doing. I'm going to pull 
one card for all of us and then we'll pull a card for the different groups. So the one that came in for all of us is the Stargate Heart. So, oh yeah, so the messages always come for me to share more. They're being channeled through me. So our Merkaba, our Tetrahedron, however you want to call it, see that just above the Emerald City there, that is also being upgraded. So what I was given was my, I've done so much chakra meridian quantum field upgrades that my Merkaba is being upgraded and the plasma is allowing it to um, prepare more for new earth and prepare for us to um, travel more uh, on missions while we're sleeping. And of course that will, that will work itself out to uh, how we'll be traveling as well. Um, Stargate heart, heart chakra opening, unlocking and generosity. And what they're letting me know, the teams are letting me know is that more chambers of our heart are also being upgraded and expanded. So our chakra system is, is uh, completely going through an overhaul at this time, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put that back. Now I'm gonna ask for one message for all star seeds, one message for those who resonate with being Blu-rays, and then one message for the 144,000, okay? Which I feel personally, it's not to group everyone, it's to give us, they're like code words for me to share with you all. So as I share these words, you're all going to go, yeah, I'm a Blu-ray. Yeah, I'm a star seed. Yeah, I resonate with 144,000 because that is um, how we find each other and how we remember. Okay, so let's just ask for one message for all star seeds for this new moon in Sagittarius, the Akashic Records. So that's what I was guided to post about last night. So I help you, I'm a liaison. I help you bring in information for your mission and what your next steps are through your Akashic Records. I also work with the galactic and the intergalactic records as well. So basically what you've all been doing and what you're going to continue to do is going to clear old stories. You're releasing past lives to give you freedom for more of your abilities to come in. It's like we're clearing. It's like we're wiping it all clean. We have to be in this body to do that. That's why our personal healing and clearing is so important because we can't do this off planet. And many of us came to just wrap up a lot. We came in to wrap up a lot of lifetimes, including the fall of Atlantis, the fall of Lemuria, and the fall of Earth, you know? Okay, so let's pull one message now for all we raise. Karmic board clearing. So same with blue rays. You're going through a real energetic clearing at this time. You're rewriting your story and you're living in your truth. Beautiful. All right. And let's pull one message for the 144,000. The sword of light. There's another one that's stuck to it. Sword of light. Okay. This comes in often for all of us um, connected to that blue ray frequency, Archangel Michael lineage, divine protection, learning to cut cords and breaking through old energy. This card comes, that message comes in all the time. Uh, but the other one that came in is the Holy Grail. Okay. Uh, in it, you're, you're on a journey of inner discovery. Uh, you're defined your sacredness. You are what you seek. So you're defined that definition of the universal, is it universal love, is it source, is it God, is it goddess? Find that, that's the quantum field that you wanna to connect to and you connect to it through your heart. That's how you connect with your higher self as well. Okay, let's move into, I'm just gonna pull I think one chakra message for everyone, which deck? Oh, they're saying the Atlantean deck, okay. So these aren't, these aren't specific chakra decks. They're just a decks that were brought to me years ago to help me remember my 12 chakra system in 2012. <laughs> Can't make it up. Okay, so let's just pull a couple of chakras to see if there's any key chakras and messages that wanna come in for us for this reading today. Let's just pull one more. Bottom of the deck is the high heart, the cosmic heart. It says security. So the high heart also is opening up new chambers, and that's to allow more plasma to activate for these upgrades. Okay, so that coming in, but it says security. So it might be bringing up anxiety for some of you as well. So just breathe through it and learn to find some tools to help with that if you've got anxiety. Okay, okay. The other chakras that came in are the third eye, it says faith. Um, so third eye activations, lower chakra counterbalance would be sacral. The third eye is clearing so we can see more and heal more and decalcifying our third eye as well. Okay. That's, um, our ability with that comes faith because that's been something that's been eroded within us for thousands of years. 
faith, trust, all of that got eroded away with the fall um, of the planet. Now, you, you might say, well, but I don't, I don't know anything about that. Well, it's imprinted on us from past lives and also from our ancestors. And that what's in our Akashic records is connected to our quantum fields and our chakras and how we clear, well, that's, I've had to go through this process so I share essentials with you in your sessions as well. Okay. And then we have the, oh, let's move into this one first. The sacral chakra came in as well. So that's the counterbalance. So sacral and third eye are really healing and clearing right now. The sacral carries belief systems around abundance. Uh, it wants to block the old imprints, want to block our joy. It wants to keep us in suffering. Okay. So we want to heal and clear that releasing those belief systems, those grids from that chakra and then that opens up our third eye more, all right? And then the last one is Serenity, Shamuel with, um, there's the Taj Mahal, that's the 11th star seed chakra. So many of you are just finding out and or you want to expand more into learning more about being a star seed, okay? All right, let me have a little sip of tea. It's starting to get dark now. I was trying to go live with Zoom on YouTube and I wasn't able to figure it out today. It's supposed to be straightforward. So I have to, I have to contact them. So I'm going to record the video anyway. So I'm going to just pull like a couple of messages for us with some clarifiers for this week and just see, woo, the one, first one that came out, this is the, um, the traditional, the high priestess deck intuition. So our intuition, our intuitive abilities are really expanded through the eclipse season. And also, what do I see? I see someone who's looking, looking at a, like a looking glass or looking, seeing potential timelines. And uh, also she's wearing an, an anchor around her neck. So she's connected to the Egyptian, the Egyptian timeline as well. So that might be coming up for many of you. Solar plexus came flying out of the deck as well. So that's, uh, that's one process that I went through this morning was calling my power back from all timelines. The other one that came in is power. That's root. So this is our, our power, our Lyran heritage, our, our, um, our ability to be so adaptable and to remember our Lyran heritage, which many of us are, are just remembering. That's for me as well. And um, they were just sharing with me today how much of that wisdom is coming back to us. And you know what? That, that's the bottom of the deck is accelerated motion. Yeah, the 8-8, eight, eight, these are like my 8-8 eight, eight cards for the Lionsgate. So think how far we've all come since the Lionsgate, how many lessons we've gone through, how much. Um, and now what they're letting me know is with Jupiter going direct, accelerated motion, okay? All right, so let's pull some clarifiers. I'm just gonna shuffle shuffle the deck, sorry about that. I thought it was already shuffled, so I'm just gonna... I'm trying to just cut the cards a little bit. We want some clarifiers for the High Priestess cards. So we have a two and a three, which is a five. We had a 23 with one of the sacred geometries. We have two eights, 88, which is abundance. Okay. And so clarifier for the High Priestess card. We get this card all the time. Seven of Cups, choose wisely. So that's why our, so we're being kind of retrained to instead of like going so fast and doing this, this, and this, going within and breathing and choosing wisely. That's how we strengthen our intuition and our, our superpowers. Okay, let's see what the um, clarification card is for the solar plexus. Oh, the four swords. So some of you have been dealing with anxiety and stress. You've been maybe not being able to sleep or all the light code activations have been bringing up like worries and stress. That's clearing though and that's for you to find tools um to rebalance everything okay well, let's see what the that's what then that then we were able to call our power back i love it so with the power card with the wisdom card with calling our power back knight of pentacles so abundance abundance is coming from all of this abundance now is like now you're on a path or knowing that you need to be on a path where you're you're in your power. You're not being um, controlled by here. Control, okay? And accelerated motion. I'm gonna pull one more. I have a little bit more of the story. Ah, interesting. Okay, all right. So with accelerated motion, 
then there, there we are as star seeds, remembering, remembering the star systems, remembering the serious star system, remembering the pyramids. The pyramids, when these cards come in, oftentimes the message for many of you is we were there when it was a stargate. Okay. Uh, that's why many of you are like called to go there because you remember transporting in and out in another lifetime. It goes much farther than the much deeper than the Egyptian um, reality. Okay. So we got two twos, 22. <laughs> so we got the two of wands and we got the two of cups. So what they're letting me know is that with that two, two portal that just happened yesterday, we're, we got, su we got such an activation, but we also are such powerful manifestors and we're learning to be more balanced. That's what we're saying. We're integrating and learning to be more balanced and we're learning to set intentions and uh, be these believe in our abilities to manifest. The other one that came in is the, the strength card number eight. Again, we have eight, eight, eight abundance. And there's the lion energy. I see a lion here as well. The wings, lion here, Lyra, Lyra, lion, empowered, Leo energy, um, and the strength card. So everything that's been happening has been absolutely, has not been easy, especially the eclipse season, but we're absolutely uh, regaining strength and, and rest. If you need to rest, I just rested for four or five days. And uh, that's what you all need to do as well if you're tired. Okay. That's what's that saying? Don't give up, learn to rest. Yeah. So I'm just going to put those magical cards away. So I'm just going to wrap up this reading with a dragon and a unicorn and a crystal for us until I come back next. Okay. I'm going to pull another dragon, sunshine, yellow dragon. This is for those of you who love animals. And I think some of you out there came specifically to help animals and communicate. So it helps you to help animals. You're here to serve animals. You're here to heal, respect, and understand them. And also remember to uh, that they're totems as well. So what do I see? I see um, a deer. I see a squirrel and I see it like a blue jay and a heron. Amazing. I see new card, new things every time in these cards. Let's pull another dragon. That was just for a specific group, but definitely watch for totems. Okay. The Emerald Dragon. I love it. So the Emerald Dragon brings in healing and cosmic abundance. Good fortune is coming. Let your thoughts support your divine perfection. Align with your fifth dimensional blueprint. And by the way, if you're watching this video and you're like, oh, okay, Bella, I'm so far from abundance, you came in to learn about abundance. You came in to heal and clear old belief systems from your childhood, imprinting from the ancestors. Uh, abundance is our birthright and it starts to flow freely as we're on our mission. Bottom of the deck, the earth and the water dragon. And it says, creates the foundation for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. Absolutely. Can't make it up. Okay. Let's just pull one unicorn and one crystal so this video is not too long. One unicorn for this week. Adventure. So maybe go on a little adventure or realize that every day is an adventure. Um, Dare to do things differently. Manifest your, um, your manifest your truest dreams, but also manifest. Your, some of you might be wanting to travel, and some of you might be thinking about moving to a new location. Okay, so definitely Sagittarius is definitely about adventure and travel, and just know that all things are possible. Okay, I'm going to pull a crystal. Let's pull three crystals. Let's do the star seeds, uh, blue rays, and uh, how to birth a thousand, and you might resonate with all of them as well. Okay, star seeds, you got unikite. Grounding is so, so important. This is a great stone to help you stay in the now. So it helps you to live in the present. It's for your heart chakra, but it's also for grounding. Grounding, grounding, grounding. Okay, let's go to blue rays. That's crystal right now for blue rays. Ooh, bloodstone. So blue rays, you're really healing your bloodlines, your ancestral lines right now. Uh, you and it's also about detoxifying. Some of you might be called to detox. So the root, heart, and sacral chakras, number seven. I'm on a liver detox right now. And some of you might be called to do that as well. All right, let's pull one more crystal for the head of 44,000. Rose quartz. Rose quartz. Beautiful. So this is to help our heart chakra number 34, which is also a seven and it's about love and self-love. It's one of the most amazing crystals, very powerful and very gentle. 
And if you're a light worker, a light warrior, or a light bringer, whatever messages resonate with you, you encompass being a star seed as well. Um, I, when I started, I actually resonated with being a light worker first. So whatever term works for you, um, that's what, that's a code that's been activated in you as well. All right. I love you all so, so much. Again, thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, check out the offers below, check out the, um, the pink Friday, um, checkout code. I just worked that out yesterday. If you have any problems with that, let me know. I love you all so, so much. I'm so grateful for you and I'll be back soon. Take care everyone. Bye.